Hey guys, it's me, Alpha. Welcome to another video. Yo! As you know by the title, today I will be doing my September book haul. I believe this is my biggest book haul as of now. Most of them have been under the 20s. I think I've achieved 20. Let me count. I have 22 books in total. First book is The Owl Crate for September and this is Horrid by Katrina Leno. So this is about a girl named Jane and her mom moving back to her mom's hometown when her dad died and they move back into the mom's old house or an old family home and suddenly like Jane gets teased about where she came from or like the house she's in I think and also her mom has been like showing some weird behaviors so I think this is gonna be very good for October which is I'm I am excited to like read this have you seen this cover it is really nice the original cover is also nice as well it has black roses instead of red roses if you haven't seen from my owl crate unboxing you will see the inside of this jacket I'll leave a link up there so you guys can see it and then I'll be showing the book I am currently reading which is Cemetery Boys by Aiden Thomas we have a transgender named Yad Yadril and he wants to prove that he is a boy and with his latinx family they had traditions because he wants uh, because yadra wants to be a brujo brujo i'm gonna put the word here because i can't pronounce it at all when suddenly a family passed like very violently uh, violently because somehow they can feel when a member passed he tries to summon that family member but instead has summoned Julian, who is one of his classmates, not really a classmate, but you know, within the age group, that has died the same day. Most of these um, books that I bought are like series to complete. One of the series I wanted to complete was my Night World series. These are big hunkers right here. So I saw that. Uh, Someone was selling them on Poshmark. So I grabbed Night World Volume 2. This consists Dark Angel, The Chosen, and Soulmate. And this is Night World Volume 3, which is Huntress, Black Dawn, and Witchlight. I really like these series and I like how it's just big books. Also to complete the series, I have the Darkest Powers trilogy, the um, Following the Summoning by Kelly Armstrong. We have The Awakening and The Reckoning. I think this is book two because this is finale. This is book two and this is book three. Also got it from Poshmark. They were selling it and I'm pretty happy. But the only thing is they're hardcover while the book that I have from The Summoning is paperback. Next book is A Curse So Dark and Lonely. This is a Beauty and the Beast retelling. Um, this is by Bridget Kramer. So we have a prince called Prince Ren who has been cursed and he has to get a girl to fall in love with him when he is an ugly beast. Then we have our belle of the story which is Harper who also has cerebral palsy. I like how it is a big book. I and with decent spacing so this is gonna be a fun read because I love Belle. Uh, I love Belle. I love Beauty and the Beast because Belle is one of my favorite Disney princesses and I love watching the Christmas edition of the movie for some reason. If you haven't seen um, books I bought because of booktube I have I featured this and also the next book I'll leave a link up there. Next we have Cinderella is Dead by Kaylin Bayron. Bayron. So this one Cinderella is real and um, Sophie has to attend an annual ball in order to like get set up and she rather like marry her childhood best friend Aaron than with a prince or a noble and then 
Suddenly, in the ball, she ran away and went into Cinderella's mausoleum. There she met Constance, the last known descendant of Cinderella and her stepsisters. And I think they're about to do revenge on whoever is setting up the annual ball and setting up everyone else. So I think I might read this in October because every time I look at this, I just want to pick it up. But I I don't want to like get myself so hyped up about it. But just look at this. This is freaking gorgeous. Then I have two Le Bardugo books. The first one is The Six of Crows. This one I got from Poshmark. The, I don't know the synopsis of this. Because literally I just bought it because it's known. And the cover is pretty good. It has red sprayed edges and that's why I bought it. So that's the Six of Crows. The synopsis I do know is King of Scars by Lee Bardugo. So we have like a king, a guy who fought war named Nikolai. He knows that the darkness in him, the darkest, the dark evil power is growing stronger inside him. And we have a girl named Zoya who also wants to help Nikolai maintain the throne. And I think there's a girl named Nina that wants to take down the kingdom. So yeah, I feel like this is gonna be an interesting and dark read. I have heard mixed review on this, but you know what? Sometimes I like cruel things and this could be it. Then we have Ace's Shades by Amanda Foodie. I don't know the um, synopsis of this. I just bought it because it actually came with the Six of Crows. So by um, by cover, I think this is about gambling and heists and investment scams. Um, I'm not gonna... I wanna go in blindly on this one. So I'm not gonna read fully into detail about the summary. So I'm very sorry, but I'll leave the link down there if you guys want to check it out. I mentioned in one of my reading vlogs, I'll leave a link up there, that I received it early and that is Legend Born by Tracy De Dean. And this released on September 15th and it looks pretty, pretty awesome. I will read the synopsis for you guys because if I try and memorize it, my brain is not gonna like process correctly. I just came from work so I'm very sorry. After her mother dies in an accident, 16 year old Bree Matthews wants nothing to do with her family memories or childhood home. A residential program for bright high schoolers at UNC Chapel Hill seems like a perfect escape until Bree witnessed a magical attack her very first night on campus. A flying demon feeding on human energies a secret society of so-called legend-born students who haunt the creatures down, and a mysterious teenage mage who calls himself a Merlin and who attempts and fails to wipe Bree's memory of everything she saw. The mage's failure reveals Bree's own unique magic and a buried memory with a hidden connection. The night her mother died, another Merlin was in the hospital. And now that Brie knows that there's more to her mother's death than what's going on in the police report, she'll do whatever it takes to find out the truth, even if it means infiltrating the Legendborn as one of their initiates. She recruits Nick, a self-exiled Legendborn with his own grudge against the group, and their reluctant partnership pulls them deeper into the society's secrets and closer to each other. Ooh. But when the Legendborn reveal themselves as the descendants of King Arthur's knights and explain that a magical war is coming, Brie has to decide how far she'll go for the truth, and whether she should use her magic to take the society down or join the fight. Sounds like fucking battle. This is exciting. I don't know when I'm gonna read it. I feel like most of these books I just want to read right now, but given my situation i don't think i will be able to but hopefully i can read legend born soon then we have lock every door by riley sager this is a known horror book 
So Jules Larson finds herself like babysitting this apartment on this old building and it pays pretty good money. All she has to do is have no visitors, make sure every door is locked, um, no nights spent away from the apartment, no disturbing other residents, and most of the residents are rich or famous. So when Jules like started like babysitting the house house sitting jill started house sitting she actually grew closer to one of the other sitters which is ingrid everything else in that building has hidden secrets so she just got herself there and i'm excited because i heard that this is a very good book the other two books is actually because i wanted something spooky for october and i got it from walmart so the first one is when You See Me by Lisa Gardner, The Hunted by Bentley Little. I hope I can read this in October because it looks pretty good. I want to get spooky on October since it is going to be Halloween. Speaking of October, I bought like a trilogy that is pretty old and I read this in my Twilight phase and I think Jolin, hi Jolin would recognize it probably and i don't really know the official name of the trilogy but the first one is boys that bite steak that and girls that growl all by mary mancusi owie my leg has been asleep next one is today tonight and tomorrow by Rachel Lynn Solomon and this is the best contemporary I've read but you'll get the full review once I do my wrap up. So it was about two teenagers named Neil and Rowan. It is their senior year, their final day and they have been enemies for four years. My leg is asleep. I can't move. Then on the final day of their senior year there's a th there's like a game called how where all the seniors will participate and it's going around seattle finding all these clues and becoming the winner and the winner will win five thousand dollars so rowan wants to beat neil one last time and win the money but suddenly a bunch of seniors are going against him and she has no choice but to team up with Neil. The next one is The Perfect Play by JC Burton. This is an adult romance with sports. So if you guys like sports and adult romance, I believe this would be your category. This follows Tara. She's a single mom. She's also an event planner and her first, not her first, the beginning set is she planned this event for her hometown um, football team and that's where Mick Riley, the quarterback, comes in. They had one night together but then she decided to leave him hanging and he has been chasing after her and that is a love story and also one of my favorite because I'm very cheesy. But yeah, the last two books are actually mangas. First one is Melting, oh, it's backwards. Melting Lover by Bukuro Yamada. And this is what it looks like. It's pretty cool. I didn't read it yet, but yeah, it has its own dust jacket, which is pretty awesome. This is the inside and this is like the full art. Then the last manga and the last book is no touching at all by ku yonita this is actually an 18 plus mature content type of book that is all for my book haul i hope you guys enjoyed it give this video a like comment down below if you want to or if you have any of these books you want to discuss uh, subscribe to me if you want to you don't have to but it's easier to see that I posted a video. I usually post videos every Wednesday and Saturday. This is my Instagram, follow me on Instagram. And this is my Twitter. And also, 
don't forget to believe in yourself and just be you. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.